Hey, y'all, Grand Rising. So we're going to tap in with Spirit to see what do you need to receive today, okay? All right, Spirit, what does the collective need to receive? It's time to release negativity. All right, so there's something that needs to be released. We have on the bottom of the deck, take time to breathe out. So, yeah, let's see. Because nothing will come of this situation, all right? So you need to release something that's not good for you. Okay, let's see what else. Then we have bring love into the situation. We have you and your loved ones are safe. Luck is on your side. So there is something that needs to be released, but Spirit is letting you know that whatever the situation is, like, yeah, look, what do you need to release? But something needs to be released. But your family is good. A personal issue reaches resolution. So if you're worried about not, even, not being able to, maybe if, if it's a finance situation, because we have you and your loved ones are safe, so maybe you're scared you're not going to be able to take care of your, your kids or your family. Well, Spirit's letting you know that you're good. Surrender to the divine. The answer that you need are coming. A, um, a fiery climax approaches, and don't let pride get in your way. Hold your vision. So I feel like they're telling you, like, you know, keep, stay focused on the path, whatever it is that you're doing. But just, you know, don't let, don't let pride get in your way. And also, make sure that you release whatever needs to be released. Let's see. Yeah, they're literally praying on your downfall. But the most high is reversing that shit right back to them ten times. Worse. So, yeah, live and let live. Like, they need to let, let you live and, like, like, live your life and let others live. Because they'll be here praying on your fucking downfall and shit. That's probably what needs to be released. These people. They won't stay like this forever. But who are these people? Yeah, look, you are a business owner, an entrepreneur. So I feel like those people are very low, low vibrational. See, look, manifest quietly. They already don't like you. You are getting distracted. Focus. And we see that they're telling you to stay focused. So maybe these low vibrational people trying to distract you, trying to... um. Keep you, like, you know, in the loop or something. I don't know. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, childish people. You have an increase in your finances. You have you have this abundance coming in. That's what they tell me, you know, stay focused. Don't get distracted by these low vibe people. There's a lesson to learn. Yeah, like, you can't um, engage with all these type of people. Again, this increase in your finances keeps coming out. You can't engage with these people. They're like vampires, you know, and they're going to throw you off your path. They're going to start throwing you off your, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to do. See, look, because they're probably going to have you worried. You don't want to be in that type of energy when you're doing something. Jail time. Yeah, worried, but jail time is um more like mental jail, okay? Like a mental prison. This energy here, like, you know, being worried. So Spirit is telling you, um, don't worry about it. You have nothing to worry about. Just I, bet, I think they're just telling you to stay woke, basically. And protect your energy, you know, like, you know, the like confirmation, like, um, if you felt like these people was trying to do something like that, like, you know, throw you off your path, or they low-key hating on you and shit like that, this is your confirmation that they are. Yeah, they, they don't want to see you win. The Spirit is telling you, surrender to the divine, you know, pray to us, put them popping ideas to work, exactly, pray to the divine, keep doing what you're doing. The universe has a plan for you, you see? They're ready to deliver you your blessings. We see the increase in your finances. We see the abundance. So that's why they're over here, you know, low-key hating and shit. We'll bring love. Yeah, look. Fake friends. We'll bring love into the situation. I feel like they're telling you to, you know, just... Yeah, you're leveling up. You know, with the increase. With the, um, bring... What is it? Bring love into the situation. I feel like they're telling you, you know, just stay in... Keep your heart chakra open. Stay in a loving energy. You know, you don't want to have anybody, um, put you on a low vibration. Because, you know, they're hating and shit like that. Like, you don't want to be now, you know, mad or whatever. Stop breaking your own heart by choosing others over yourself. 
Yeah, they, they're like, stop breaking your heart, choosing all these other people. Just focus on you and stacking your bread. All right. Anything that needs to be surrendered, released. So if you're like in a mental prison about these people, maybe you already know that they're haters and you're worried or something. Spirit is telling you, you have nothing to worry about. You got your confirmation that they ain't no good for you. Not keep, you know, keep focusing on you. Keep focusing on your healing, as you can see here. And stay positive. That's what they tell you. Get out of this mental prison because you don't want to be on a low vibration. You have to stay positive. Stay optimistic. Know that whatever you're trying to do is going to work out for you because that's what this card is telling you. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any any doubts that miracles can happen. All right? So, exactly. Like, you know, stay positive. Stay optimistic. Know that you can manifest whatever it is that you want. Don't, um, you know, engage like, your thoughts into this these people, these childish people. And uh, we have here, open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. All right? So, you leveling up. You healing. Look, so into success. You see, you're leveling up. Mm -hmm. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. So, yeah. And so into trust. Yeah. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So like, yo, you got this. You have nothing to worry about. And again, stay positive and optimistic. That's going to keep you in the... Connected to the ecstasy of flow, you know, unless like, so you could attract more things, you could, you know, you could um, manifest more things, but you need to stay positive and optimistic. And look, put your energy back because you're leveling up. Look at that right there, right in my face. You're leveling up. So you have to put your energy back from these low vibrational people, all right? So don't think about them no more. Don't check up on them. Like, fuck them, okay? It's time for you now to work on you and yours. All right, let's see what else we got. You have your crown chakras. So I feel like you, you know, you're going through like an awakening. Like your crown chakra is probably opening up, getting a lot of downloads. We have recognition and reward, and we have the um solar plexus chakra. So this is like I can, this is action. So recognition and reward. Like I feel like, yeah, like you are getting now your your recognition and rewards, your abundance. You know, you've been putting in the work, you know, you've been on, on goal time this whole time. Yeah, heart chakra on the bottom, you know, like, don't close out your heart chakra. And look, we have prosperity begins after a heartache and loss. So you, you probably have to, like, lose some, you know, some people that was no good for you. So it's not really a loss, you know, like, it's just something you needed to release, all right? You have prosperity that's going to come now. Everything that you've been working for is going to come into fruition now. After you had to, like, release some type of people. Maybe you released three people. Maybe you went through some type of heartbreak. Yeah, like a heartache and loss. Maybe you want to do some type of heartbreak. But you have balance coming back into your life no matter what. All right? So fuck these people. Look. Look at that. Material and spiritual prosperity. You have this coming. I feel like you have to release these people so that you could get this abundance. Because look, it's part of your destiny. It was meant to happen. You was meant to get this. You was also meant to experience these people. But at the same time, you need to uh, learn the lesson and let them go. And Spirit is telling you that needs to be released before you could get to what you want. <clears throat> before you could get to these financial and material changes. Before you could get to this new beginning, you know. Being able to, to birth all these things and, um, and get the abundance that you deserve. It needs to be released. It could be fake friends, fake lovers, family. People that don't want to see you win. The people that you spend the most time with shape you who you are. Hello. Hello. They don't want to see you win. Like, why do you want to be around these people? Spirit is trying to get you away from these people, telling you to let them go. If you stay around these low vibe people, you start picking up their habits, picking up their bad karma, and all that. All right? Bottom of the deck, we have change. So, yeah, change, and this is also changes as well. Material and financial changes, number five is all about changes. 
So it says there's a change for the better coming your way. So embrace it. Just because you don't see any movement, it doesn't mean nothing is happening. Sometimes to see change, you must be the change. And yeah, Spirit is telling you, you have to help us help you by releasing what doesn't serve you. Let it go. Right now, there's a lot of things working out, uh, you know, behind the scenes. Whatever happens in the 3D happens in the spiritual world first. So you already have this abundance. This is already yours, all right? You're already experiencing that, you know, on the other side. Like, you know what I'm saying? So here, if you want to hear, you want to manifest it here, you need to take the advice. Let go of these people because they're blocking your blessings, all right? You have this coming in, but you have to release all these people right here around you, all right? And I feel like because these people... um. These people here are, you know, they're unethical, they're no, they're low vibration. It says here, unethical behavior can lead to some serious consequences. Someone is stealing or lying to you about money and don't sacrifice your morals for money. All right, these people, I feel like they, they will sacrifice their morals for money. Like they will do anything for money. If they over here stealing or lying about money, they'll do anything for money. And Spirit is telling you, stay away from these people. Stay away from these people. You don't want their bad, their bad juju to, um... To, um you know rub off on you anything else oh that's way too much y'all hold on way too much but the only one that came out up right is when you focus on the good the good gets better so yeah that's part of um the message you know to stay positive stay optimistic that is very crucial to manifestation you can't be in a low vibration and manifesting is not going to work you, what you are going to manifest is low vibrational shit. Change your diet to raise your vibration. All right. So spirit is telling you, um, maybe you're not eating, you're not eating, you're not eating too good. Um, so, you know, eat more, fr more fruits, more vegetables, drink more water, more high vibrational foods so that you can raise your vibration. Again, they're setting you up for this abundance here. Like you leveling up in all forms, not just financially. I feel like you're leveling up as well, uh, spiritually with the changes coming in. So they're telling you to change your diet, all right, to raise your vibration, spend more time in nature, more time in, sun, in the sun, uh, you know, drink more water, eat more fruits, vegetables, stuff like that. Bottom of the deck, I let go of what does not serve me with ease, all right? So this could also be, your, you know, the, the way that you're living, a, a certain lifestyle. But we did see that something needs to be released. So it could be that, and it could also be people, you know, that don't serve you, okay? All of that. Even if you can't see it, it's all working out for you. Trust it. And that's exactly what we saw right here with this card. That spirit is telling you that there is a change for the better coming. Just because you don't see any movement, it doesn't mean that it's not happening. And as you can see, we got the same energy right here. So it's working out for you. It's already happening in, in the in the um in the spiritual side, all right? So we have here uh put your ego to the side and understand the lesson that was meant for you. So there was a lesson here with these people. Spirit is sending you, look, learn the lesson and let it go. Exactly. Find the lesson and let it go. That's exactly what I was gonna say, and the card is right here saying it for me. You needed to learn something for uh, from those people, okay? So just learn and let it go. Now you know that, you know, there's energy vampires. Now you know that people be out here wishing on your downfall. And we have be in the moment. So I feel like they're telling you don't think about the past anymore. <clears throat> don't think about the future either. Just be in the moment, all right? Be open right now to, to, um, to receive. Stay in the moment, all right? Let's see what else. You're ready. I feel like you definitely are ready to receive this abundance and stuff. That's what they're trying to tell you right now. Raise your vibration. Let go of what doesn't serve you because you're about to get, you know, leveled up. Yeah, you see? Let go. Let go of what doesn't serve you. Let it go. You have to let it go. And look, improving health. That's connecting to them. I'm telling you, you know, raise your vibration. So, yeah. All right, let me get one more. Be assertive. Yeah, stay focused. Stay focused on, you know, on the goal. Don't, um, don't fall back. And look, it's up to you. Do you want, look how she's pointing at you. Like, she's like, do you want this? Do you want this abundance? What you gonna do about it? <laughs> what you gonna do about it? So, yeah, be assertive. And that's the card that was saying to stay focused. I don't know where it is, but yeah, stay focused, basically, all right? Stay focused on the prize and make sure nothing holds you back. So I want to pull from here, let's see, to close it out, what does the collective need to receive? 
well. All right. Under a spell, the weight of the truth and the sword. All right, let me check the book. So the sword... It says the sword embraced by the outer burrows, the sword that cuts both for good and ill, and the symbol of recreation and the eternal. Together they create four quarters, each representing a season and a part of ourselves and a whole. You are the creator of which direction you go, which season you live in, your birth and rebirth, and birth and rebirth again. Hold the sword in power. You have control and you can use your sword to protect yourself in constant transformation. All right, so basically, I feel like maybe you've been seeing the number 77 a lot, okay? Um, but Spirit is telling you, you are protected with this, okay? With this snake here, I feel like you are going through a transformation, like it says here, um, and you are protected right now. So they're letting you know you are protected during this transformation, okay? You're leveling up. You don't have nothing to worry about. That's what they're telling you right now. Release these people. They're like, yo, we're working for you on the spiritual side. We're holding you down. We're protecting you. But you need to do the work on the physical side, which is physically letting go of these people, okay? So, um... You are protected, all right? They're letting you know with that one. Now, this one, the uh, weight of the truth, that's basically talking about you are a high priest or a high priestess. And it says here, um, not everyone can handle hearing, you know, the truth and, 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 and being able to see through the veil like you can. Again, you're going through the spiritual transformation. Now you're starting to see things for what they are. And a lot of people is not going to be on that type of time. They're not going to understand you. It says here... Um, it could all be overwhelming. All you can do is what you feel is right. Part of seeing the truth is about acceptance too. So I feel like you, they're telling you accept that these people are not on the same level. These people um, cannot come where you're coming, okay? You need to let them go, right? You see things that they don't see. They don't understand. They're not leveling up. They're not on your vibration. And with the under a spell, it says there is, there is the most beautiful fog that you will ever see showering over you. It may feel super dreamy and magical. It probably is. You are in love with an idea. You are in love with what you see. You are completely under a spell. This can be a nice feeling, but if things feel a little funny, like there is something that's not right, you might need to be sh shaken out of it. You can't think straight when hearts and stars are all you see. It could put a filter on something that is not a good choice for you and make it seem like the best choice. I know that it's hard to leave a spell that makes you feel in love, but if you can snap out of it and feel amazing, then that means that it's true. If you snap out of it and feel like someone dropped you on a cold floor, well, then it was just a spell. All right, so Spivet is letting you know uh, why you need to release these people. I feel like, you know, they, they could be doing some type of spell work on you. All right, like they say, you, you've seen these people with these hard eyes and stuff like that, but that's not really what's going on like you know it's an illusion now with this card here you're able to see through these illusions through the veil so i feel like you probably already know and this is just confirmation that you need to let these people go or this person go because they're holding you back and they're also trying to do some type of spell work to get this abundance right here all right under a spell go cleanse your energy <sighs> all right yeah be free and do what you love and what I just said, like, spell work. Like, look at this candle right here. I feel like, um, you know, with this card, they're telling you to go, you know, go be free. Do what you love. Release what doesn't serve you and go do what you love. Go, um, you know, work on this, on this creative project, on this business, on this idea. You're free to do this, but you need to release this energy first. All right? So that was your reading. I hope I was able to give clarity to whoever needed to receive it. If you would like to book a full reading, we could definitely do that. If you are on Instagram, send me a DM. If you are on YouTube, check out um, the description and send me an email. All right? Take care.